Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a travel vlog. I'm going to take you to a place called Monterey. Monterey is around 8 hours drive from Keretaro. Uh, it's around 650 kilometers. So uh, you can see that we started early in the morning and it was kind of foggy and it was not that clear to drive but as we kept driving it got clearer. As it was Mexican Independence Day, we had a long weekend. So kids and all of us planned to go there. We also had a celebration. We started at 7.30 a.m. in the morning. So we could reach there at lunchtime. So please excuse me if you see a lot of road in this video. Uh, mainly because it was an 8 hours drive and also the view was so spectacular. This is like 7th or 8th time visit to Monterey because our family friends live there. So we keep visiting them or they keep visiting us. But every time we go, I don't know why I keep recording it. The view is the same but it's so beautiful to record. And I used to do this even before I started YouTube. So it's not that because I'm doing YouTube, I'm recording it now. Since the day we traveled was the Independence Mexican Independence Day, the road was empty. There were no other vehicles except for these huge trailers. I think the previous night most of the people must have traveled uh, to visit their family and friends so they could spend the long weekend. So it was an easy drive. We didn't have to wait uh, for a long time at the toll uh, gates and things like that. So after around uh, three hours of driving, we stopped at this place to go to the washrooms or to buy some coffee and snacks. Just like in US, even Mexico has such stops on the way to any places that we go. So it's very convenient. So we can drive like for two or three hours, a stop in between, uh, get some snacks, coffee and then drive back again. Since it was a Mexican Independence Day, they had decorated with those colors. And then we got back on our track and started driving again. This is usually a busy highway mainly because uh, people traveling to Monterey uh, either uh, live there or they are planning to drive further from there to Texas or Houston. And here Ananya was mad because her Netflix was not working. It's really difficult for the kids to sit for 8 hours at the back of the car and do nothing. So usually my kids download uh, some series from Netflix and save it and they watch it while they go on such long drives. As I was saying, uh, Monterey is just two hours uh, to the border of U United States and hence many people keep traveling to Monterey to cross the border. But now because of the COVID, uh, the border is closed and people are not able to drive to the US. And that could be another reason that the highway was not that uh, busy. So we are crossing another state to go to Monterey and after this we stopped uh, at a gas station to fill gas and also to go to the store to buy some snacks. Uh, Oxo is a very famous uh, convenient store here in Mexico so you will find that everywhere inside the city and as well as on the highways. As we go closer to Monterey, you will see that there are many mountains on the way. Monterey means uh, Monte plus Rey, which means mountain and king. So Monterey is basically king of mountains. And that's why as we drive closer to Monterey, the view is majestic. It's just like a painting uh, with beautiful mountains and greenery everywhere. There you can see huge windmills. So as we entered the city, uh, there was traffic, but I must say that it was not the usual traffic that is there in Monterey because Monterey is one of the most populated cities in Mexico and obviously the traffic is heavy. But since it was a national holiday, we find, luckily didn't find much traffic on the road. And we are all obviously happy that we are going to meet our family friends after some time. After reaching there, we obviously went shopping to buy things for the next day event. Uh, it's a small celebration with close family friends. Uh, there are a lot of uh, Indians living there in Monterey. For the people who think that the Indian community is not big, uh, well, it's not big, 
but yes there are around 20 to 30 families living in monterey too and uh, so we had a small celebration so that's why we had the barbecue for the dinner some people have been living here for the past 20 25 years can you believe that and that's why they can speak spanish well and have adapted mexican culture too Since it was barbecue, we ladies didn't have much work. It was a men's job to do the barbecue. So we were relaxing and talking and enjoying the party. Uh, the party was on top of a uh, palapa, which means a party hall. So from here, the view was beautiful. And this is a salsa box, which is prepared by one of our friend's son. If you are someone who loves salsa and if you're living somewhere near Monterey, then you must try this. It's delicious. It was just perfect to eat with chicken or meat and also with tacos. I mean, salsas, it goes with everything. So if you want to try this, uh, do let me know in the comment and I can give you the contact details. Since I don't eat uh, this meat, my friend is going to show you how they make tacos uh, with the barbecue meat. So you just uh, take the tortilla, take the meat and guacamole. Uh, I have given a recipe of this in my channel. If you want, if you're interested, you can check that out. Uh, and you just put that on top of this tortilla and then spread your favorite salsa on top of it. The hot box that I showed you has three types of salsa. One is red, green and uh, white. There is no party here in Mexico without any salsa and food. I later tried it with chicken too and it was super delicious. Just, so just enjoy the tacos with meat and salsa. Since we are all away from our families in India, we have become like a family here in Mexico. So any celebrations we have, we call each other for sure. There is no celebration without our friends. I think any person who is living away from their homeland or in another country can relate to what I'm saying. We also have very dear Mexican friends who are like family to us. While we try to uh, fit into their culture and traditions, they are also very curious to know about our traditions. Like in the next clip, you will see our Mexican friends speaking Malayalam. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the part one of our monterey trip my part two is coming soon meanwhile please subscribe to my channel like the video and follow me on instagram too thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye